We're going to be tracking another morning with some of that mid to high level cloud cover kind of working its way on through. That'll be kind of a theme here throughout at least this morning. Let's look at that big picture though. High pressure is trying to settle in here out of the northern plains and that'll try to clear some of those skies up. But we'll still be tracking some more sunshine, but those clouds will be a little bit a part of that as well. The other thing you're going to notice though is going to be not only just that sunshine, it looks pretty similar to what we were tracking yesterday, but it is not going to feel anything like it back into the 30s here as we close out this work week. But that's about where we should be this time of year. Maybe a sign of how spoiled we've been here with some of that 50 degree weather around mid-Missouri. Overnight, we fall back to about 20 degrees here as those mostly clear skies stick around and that'll help us cool off pretty good here with those winds out of the northeast. As we get into this weekend though, Saturday going to be warming up or at least trying to back into the upper 30s. We'll back into the 40s though as we get into Sunday. In between there though, that's when that next storm system is going to be approaching. Here's the latest look at future track finally able to reach it now and we can see some of those clouds starting to push in as we go throughout the afternoon on Saturday. It's Saturday night into Sunday where I think we might start seeing some of those impacts and it may just be a little bit of those light sprinkles to some light drizzle as we get into Sunday morning. But if temperatures are cool enough, we could mix in a little bit of sleet, some freezing rain, certainly possible. I don't think it's anything that's going to be impactful out on those roadways just yet, but we'll continue to track that. I think there's going to be a break in the activity as we get into about Sunday afternoon. It's more so Sunday night into Monday morning. That's kind of the big round with this storm system as it gets a little closer to us. That's where some more moisture is going to work its way in from the south. And we got to watch those temperatures in some of our northwestern most counties. I think for most of us in mid-Missouri, this will come down liquid, but we got to watch out up around Macon back toward Brunswick. Could be looking at another wintry mix. And then as we get into Monday on the back side of this system, again, it's starting to work its way back toward the Ohio River Valley region. You may see a little bit of that snow kind of swiping us in some of our northern counties. Again, still doesn't look like it's going to be anything terribly impactful here for most of us in mid-Missouri, but we're still continuing to track this system. Again, it's got a couple of different waves with it. That Saturday night one looks like it's going to be fairly light. Sunday, again, in terms of that wintry weather is not going to be for everyone. Most of us are going to be warm enough that we keep a lot of that liquid. As we get into Monday, that's probably our best shot at seeing anything uh, frozen falling out of the sky here. As we take a look at that ABC 17 storm track seven day forecast and again it's going to be more so toward the afternoon when we filter in a little bit of that cooler air on the back side of things and we're going to be hanging on to the 30s it looks like all the way through Wednesday. That's when our next storm system is going to be moving in another shot at some light snow as we get into the middle of next week. Otherwise though things pretty smooth sailing here around mid Missouri.